Hi guys, how are you? Just wanted to showcase the camping mod real quick. Thanks for your support so far. I'm going to actually go ahead and deploy the camping kit right here. And it's a uh, chest, and I'm going to hit set up camp. This will allow me to position my camping elements around. So you can see here we have three markers. Uh, we have the camp fire marker or the campsite marker. We have the bedroll, which is a shield, and we have the actual tent. So I'm going to go ahead and place my campfire right here and activate it. That'll create the actual camp. I'm going to take my tent and I'm going to place that slightly behind it right over here. And upon uh, clicking that, it'll turn into an actual tent. Now what's great about this is I can actually um, reposition items. So if I click here, it'll turn it back into that marker. Then I can drag and drop it again. This is useful because as you guys can see, the terrain uh, a lot of it in Skyrim, there are flat elements to it or flat areas, but for the most part, there's always a little bit of a bump here and there. And I want to give you guys the uh, the feature set to actually, you know, um, change the uh, the elements around as you want a little bit more, make things more comfortable. All right, so I'm going to continue to uh, do this, rotate it a little bit more. As you can see, I now have the entrance facing the fire. It's slightly off the ground, so I can actually lower it a little bit, which is cool. Uh, and then we have that. I'll go back and grab the bedroll now. So I made that a flat object on purpose. I thought that was kind of cool to uh, have a marker or something flat. So I click here, and I'll spawn into, as you can see, an embedded bedroll. I'm going to rotate that, though, and I'll actually, in most cases, fix the bedroll, which is pretty cool. And I can always reposition it as well, just like the tent and everything else. So if I wanted to put it, let's say, gee, I don't know, over here maybe. I could do that, click that, and that'll spawn it there. Keep, I can continue to rotate it, lower it, and raise it accordingly. All right. And as you guys continue to play around with that a little bit, you'll find it's not as bad and you know hard to do. Really, it's all just a matter of finding some flat terrain. So, bear with me. <laughs> so, if I wanted to, I can set up a chair. Um, so, I just click that, and you guys can see it put a chair right here. Now, let's say I make a mistake like that, I can just hit reposition. It'll go right back to the marker, which is pretty cool. So. I'm going to click here, drop that, and just click that. It'll go to the chair, but it's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to rotate that exactly three times, uh, 60 degrees. And now it's more or less facing it. I'll rotate a little more, and then I could lower it, which is great too. Okay, once that's done, I could hit confirm, and I can now uh, confirm this. I'm saying just like the bedroll, I'm ready to use this item. So if I sit in it, it'll actually function as a chair. So I'll get up, and now I'm going to show you the leather screen and the cooking pot. So I'm going to go to my extras and pick up my cooking pot, which is just a pot. I'm going to lower this right here, and I'm going to click it to activate it. Now you can see it's it's above the ground, and that's okay. I'm going to actually um, lower my pot, and I make it lower at a much faster or higher rate rather than some of the other elements, and that's because generally it is going to look a little messed up the first time. And as you continue to lower, it'll kind of kind of move into position. You can see that I'm kind of doing now. See that? Once I'm ready, I can confirm that. And now I can use it as an actual cooking element. Similarly, my last item is the uh, screen, and the pelt is just a little rug that you guys can put in the interior of your camp. Um, I can put this right here, and upon clicking, it'll actually become a leather screen. So I can rotate this, um, and I can kind of position or put a perimeter around my entire camp with these screens, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think my camp looks alright, but some of the videos and the uh, you know, pictures that you guys have submitted to me. You guys have made some pretty cool camps, so I'm really impressed, and I really like the creativity that you guys have. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to sit down in my, my chair right here and then put on some of that post-process injecting, whatever that is. I'm going to enable that, and you guys can see it's a little bit darker now. It's probably really dark in the YouTube video, um, but it adds a nice level or, you know, layer of shadows around everything, which is, you know, really cool for the uh, for the camping site. And the last thing is once I'm all set, I can actually walk over to my camp, the camping kit, and activate it. And when I'm ready, I can hit pack up camp. But it'll actually take everything and 
completely remove it. And the thing is, I actually made sure it was removed properly. Um, I went, you know, through all of the code um, to make sure that it not only disabled the items but also deleted them so that they don't, you know, cause a memory problem later. Um, you know, memory leaks and, and and ruin your save game and make your save game bigger. So I tried to handle as much of that as I could. And I got to be honest with you, everything looks pretty good. Um, so that's it. You know, really excited about the suggestions you guys had and working on them, such as different types of of uh, tents, right? The imperial one, the lighter one, um, you know, kind of the lone wolf style tent where it's a little bit, you know, more lightweight, less elements. Um, so things like that. I'm going to try to do all of that. I think that's cool. And, uh, you know, just continue to give me some feedback and I'll definitely uh, try to implement everything. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, looking forward to your comments.